usher in the top half of the second inning. Anderson to the Thunder, nothing. The Ravens scored on an illegal pitch in the first inning, then an RBI base hit on the ground into left field by the first baseman Yardley Colette. Try and threaten, had runners on first and second. A hard line drive to left field was corralled by Megan Ream on the warning track, hit by Lauren Harris. And the Thunder came out with absolutely nothing to show for themselves in the first. Gasco faces Morehouse with Frazier and Steele, 7-8-9 in the Anderson order here in the second inning. Natalie Morehouse, the catcher I was talking about in the previous inning, is a senior hitting 245 with two home runs and 19 RBIs. She was a player of the year in the 8CAC a year ago. Played shortstop her entire career and moved to catcher this year. And she has sacrificed a bit of offense as she had to concentrate on her defensive position a bit as Gasco misses down low for a ball. And Don Dankelson better be careful. I'm not sure if they called another illegal pitch or not, but he comes out and barks something at the umpire at first base. One ball, no strikes the cow. Morehouse had the plate. It's way inside for a ball, and it's 2-0. John had better be careful. They have to regroup and focus. They trail it 2-0 here in the early going. And absolutely anything can happen in a tournament. Morehouse, the dangerous player of the year in the conference. Last year sprays it foul. Right side, it's off the fence, and the count drops to two balls and a strike. And I can tell you one thing. Andy Gasco is not very happy with the way things have proceeded here in the first couple of innings. Has a scowl on her face, the competitive fire in her eyes, as she steps behind the pitching circle and climbs back up. Anderson to the Thunder, nothing. The top half of the second inning. Natalie Morehouse hitting 400 in her last six games. Last year had 10 homers and 46 RBIs. Swinging a fly ball foul. Right field side and a nice running catch in foul territory by Leah Hall in the corner for the out. Hall from Indianapolis had a nice jump. Made the play for the first out of the inning. Here's Nicole Frazier, the shortstop. Frazier, a sophomore, hitting 216 with six RBIs and a couple doubles, making her 17th start of the year. Gasco winds, fires. It's a breaking ball inside for a ball. 2 nothing Ravens, top half of the second inning. Frazier from Indianapolis, graduated from Franklin Central High School, went to the same high school as Leah Hall did for the Thunder as she comes up empty on a swing and a miss to square the count at 1-1. Time of their corners in, the outfield playing straight away under the bright, sunny skies here in Angola. 1-1 one, one pitch is an elevated pitch, fouled straight back, and the count drops to a ball, two strikes. Two-nothing Ravens. They had two hits in the first inning, trying to hit a base hit by Caitlin Clark, who continues her streak at the plate and extended her hitting streak to 10 games. 1-2 pitch, up and away, and a ball. The Ravens have hit Gasco well over her career. She has the highest ERA against this team than any other team she has ever faced more than twice. 2-2 two -two pitch is up and away as she tries again to entice her to swing at a rise ball, and she doesn't offer at it, and it fills out the count as 3-2. Morehouse flew out to right. Full count to the waiting Nicole Frazier. Frazier waves the bat with a wide open stance on the right side. The 3-2 pitch is bounced foul down the third base side. Frazier last year hit 333 and limited opportunities as a freshman. Has gotten more ample playing time here in her sophomore campaign. Gasco grabs a sign from the catcher below. Brings in the 3-2 pitch. Swing, fly ball, center field. Backing as Searles makes the catch, route number two. Back-to-back -back flyouts off the bats of Morehouse and Frazier to commence proceedings here in the second inning. And now it's the DP, Samantha Steele. Steele is sophomore, 286 hitter after she was a second-team all-conference player from last year and then hit 441 as a freshman. 
Slap hitter from the left side of the box as Gasco delivers it across the inside corner for a called strike. Steal three RBIs and no extra base hits. Is a base running threat with 10 stolen bases. Trying to a shift in across her and she slaps it left side, charging as a shortstop Daniels and has absolutely no play at first base. That's what Samantha Steele does best. She pushed it past Rachel Harris at third base, and after that point, it was obviously going to be an infield hit. Third hit of the day for the Ravens, and it brings up the top of the lineup, and the first-team all-conference player, Katie Lee, who had a base hit on the first pitch of this entire tournament. 2 nothing Ravens, second inning with two down. Vladek was originally playing tight, is now backed up at second base as a breaking ball misses outside, ball one. Katie has hit safely in seven out of her last nine games. A first-team all-conference player back in 2010 as well as this year. Four forty-three hitter last year. Gasco misses again. It's two balls and no strikes. Runner first, two down, second inning. It's 2 nothing Ravens. Swing and a ground ball off Gasco into center field, a base hit. Second straight hit for Katie Lee, and with two on, two out, it's the MVP of the entire conference and Amy Wiestefeld. Wiestefeld walked, advanced to second on an illegal pitch, and scored in that first inning on an RBI base hit by Yardley Colette. Wiestefeld, also the point guard in the basketball team for the Ravens, averaged 13 points and four assists this year and was a first-team all-conference member in that sport. The 28th leading hitter in the entire nation at 482. He has driven in 20 with five walks. Tied for second in conference play in triples and leads the entire conference in stolen bases. First and second, two down the second inning. The first pitch to Wiestefeld peppers the middle of the play to call strike. Wiestefeld, another lefty for this lineup from Batesville, Indiana. Graduated from high school there. Leaves the bat around slightly. Gasco's 0-1 pitch is bunted and comes up empty, and she's down two strikes. Right into the glove of the waiting catcher, Sarah Below. First and second, two down, second inning with the Thunder already down 2-0. Nothing and two, the count to the MVP. Pitching, lining over the shortstop's head. Drop for a base hit into left field. Runner breaks from third to throw home safe. And Anderson leads it 3 nothing. Two out base hit over the head of Haley Daniels into left center field. Amy Wiestefeld goes the opposite way for her 21st RBI of the year. This entire rally came with two outs as Katie Lee advances all the way to third. And now it's Katie Ogden who had a sacrifice bunter first time. Second and third with two outs as she shoots it foul. Right side, it carries out of play. Two in the first, one so far in the second inning for the Ravens. Katie Ogden, 322 hitter, is a first team all conference player this year and is hitting 500 in her last six games. Gasco sights the side of the 0-1 pitch. A high drive down the left field line. Bending foul. It's out of play. And she's down two strikes. Trying the number one seed, the number two team in the entire nation. But trailing it 3-0 the second inning in a big situation with two on and two out. 0-2 pitch is a changeup outside for a ball. RBI base hit by Wiestefeld, who stands in second with Katie Lee adorning third base here at Trine University. One and two, the count to the righty Ogden. The pitch, he pops it up. Right side, foul grounds. Harris calling, makes the catch in the coaching box, and that's the inning. But three base hits, and they all came with two outs as a score run on the RBI base hit by Wiestefeld. After one and a half, and hold on a second. Here we go again, folks. After the inning had been over, they have called another illegal pitch against Gasco. An illegal pitch called against Gasco after she had retired the batter on a pop-out. It scores the run from third base and sends the other runner to third. 
Things are really getting tenuous here at Trine University. The crowd's starting to get a bit antsy. They haven't put the run up on the scoreboard yet, but it is four to nothing, Anderson. As we used to thought on the illegal pitch, advances to third base, and Katie Lee scores for the second time today on an illegal pitch. Two balls and two strikes, the count to Katie Ogden. Gasco sights his sign, brings the 2-2 pitch, swing and a pop-up, center field, racing over Searle. She makes the catch, and that's the inning. But a base hit and another illegal pitch. We head to the bottom half of the second inning. It's Anderson 4 and the Thunder nothing. This is Tri Thunder Softball on 88X. There's hundreds of fun and simple things you and your family can do to live a healthier lifestyle. Here's 20 of them. Eat less, eat slower, eat smarter, eat your fruits and veggies. Stop eating before you're full. Up your fiber, lower your calories, get off the bus early, do some gardening, do jumping jacks, take the stairs, take one, not two, take on a new sport, take a long walk home, walk instead of drive. Bend, stretch, reach for the stars, climb the monkey bars, skip the fudge bars. <sighs> Search We Can online to find more ways you and your family can get healthy together. A message from the Ad Council, HHS, and NIH's We Can program. So... I'm a dog, and I just got adapted by this new human guy, and I'm starting to wonder how he got along without me. I mean, okay, something as simple as walking around the block. He's got this leash thing, and he puts me on one end and him on the other, and I'm just taking him around. I, I think he's afraid of getting lost. Without that leash and me guiding him along, I don't think he'd find his way back home. But it's kind of cute. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the shelterpetproject.org. <laughs> Aaron Coyle back with you live from Trine University. It's the home half of the second inning of game number one, but the Anderson Ravens are leading the Thunder 4-0. The Ravens have scored twice on two illegal pitches, one in each inning. They had an RBI base hit by Wiestefeld in the second and an RBI base hit by Yardley Colette in the first inning. Trying the top-scoring team in the entire nation, but they are facing the conference pitcher of the year. And the freshman, Sammy Frazier, she takes the circle for round number two, facing Hall with Belode and Harris. I think it's a safe bet, folks, to say this is not the start. The try and thunder the number one seed in vision, but this is what they are facing down 4 nothing. As Hall is showing bunt, she pulls it back, takes it up and away, ball. Leah, 278 hitter. And the umpire has come in to address the trying dugout. And he's talking, I think, to Don Dankelson. Tempers are flaring, folks. Not sure what the discussion is about, but Don Dankelson is not happy, and neither is the umpire to the first base side. He is addressing Coach Dankelson along with the umpire from home plate. And now the third base umpire as well. There's been some jawing from the fans, some jawing, I think, from the Trine Thunder dugout, at least give the opinion to the umpire whether there truly was or not. I think that's the issue. They're talking things over with Coach Dankelson. Obviously, the fact that they have called three illegal pitches on Gasco and two of those have scored runs has certainly simmered into the temper of this Trine team in the early going. As Leah Hall stands and faces a one-ball, no-strike count. 4 nothing Ravens, second inning. All two home runs, 26 RBIs with eight doubles. Third baseman pulled in. A couple steps in front of the bag. The 1-0 pitch is taken down and away. Ball two. Leah from Indianapolis, Franklin Central High School. Played for the Flashes in high school. Frazier's 2-0 pitch, swing and a slow grounder to the third base, charges and throws and out as Katie Ogden hooks up with Yardley Colette for the put out. 5-3 on the play, one away in the second inning, and here's the catcher, Sarah Below. 4 to nothing Ravens in the home half of the second inning of game one. Winner of this game faces the winner of the Aurora Mount Union game to be played today at approximately noon. Pelote, the MVP in the entire conference, hit over 500 in conference play, glances at it first pitch, is in there for a called strike. Sarah, 396 hitter with 14 home runs, 49 RBIs. Fifth in the entire nation in home runs. The 1 pitch comes Pelote's way, and it's another strike. And the butterflies I was talking about earlier for the freshman at Sammy Frazier seem to be non-existent at this point. 
Nods her head at Morehouse, the 0-2 pit. Settles up and away ball. 4-0 Ravens. They've called three illegal pitches, and it has led to two runs in the first couple of innings. Brings the 1-2 pitch. It's up and outside for a ball to square things at 2-2. Sarah Below, the conference MVP, was also first-team all-conference last year and second-team all-conference her sophomore year. Brings the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And the second strikeout of the day for Sammy Frazier. Two up, two down in the second inning, and here's third baseman, Rachel Harris. Anderson, four, try nothing. Home half of the second inning of game number one with the sun shining down and showering the field here at Tryon University. First pitch to the waiting Harris is just above the letters for a ball. Rachel, first team all conference, hit 343 with 13 home runs, 34 RBIs. The Division II transfer waits. The 1-0 pitch is in there at the knees for a called strike. Obviously, the sister of Lauren Harris went to Fairmount State University, the Division II school in West Virginia first year. 1-1 pitch misses out and away for a ball. 4-0 Ravens second inning, two down, with Haley Daniels, the Hamilton, Ohio native, waiting on deck. Big exhale from the pitcher, the 2-1 pitch to Harris, swing and a foul ball straight back. Four games to be played today if the weather cooperates. Winner of this one plays tomorrow at 2, and the loser has to come right back and play tomorrow at 10 a.m. 2-2 pitch, swing and a pop-up on the infield. The shortstop, Nicole Frazier, calls, makes the catch, and a 1-2-3 inning for the freshman, Sammy Frazier. After two complete, it's the Ravens 4 and the Thunder nothing. This is Tron Thunder Softball on 88X. Today in school, I learned a lot. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes me. In biology, I learned that I'm fat, I'm stupid. In English, I learned that I'm disgusting. And in gym... I learned that I'm pathetic and to joke. The only thing I didn't learn in school today is why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. Kids need some sort of education after high school if they hope to be financially secure. Older students can plan right now to visit college campuses this summer. Visits should include meeting with an admissions representative and exploring financial aid options. And speaking of financial aid, students also can search for scholarships at websites such as fastweb.com, scholarship.com, and capex.com. Finally, this also is a good time for college-bound students to get ready for next fall's SAT or ACT exams. Students can enroll in a prep course or take free practice tests online at collegeboard.org or act.org. Aaron Coyle back with you live from Trine University. It's the top half of the third inning in game number one of the day, and the Anderson Ravens already have a 4-0 advantage. And a surprise pitching change as Bree Fuller has entered the game and is pitching for Andy Gasco. Amy Newell has gone into the lineup and is playing second base. So Newell replaces Lydic in the flex position. Gasco remains in the game as a DP, and Amy Newell is the new second baseman. And Bree Fuller takes over after Gasco pitched two innings and allowed four runs. Fuller, 22 and 2, all time in her fine career, only a sophomore for this team, making her second appearance in the postseason after pitching five scoreless innings last year in the regional final against Ohio Northern. Fuller this year is 14 and 1 with a 1.38 ERA. 91 and a third innings has allowed 50 hits, 18 earned runs, 35 walks, 119 strikeouts with the opponents hitting 155 against her. She gets four, five, and six with Yardley Colette leading things off for the Ravens. Four nothing Anderson in the third inning. First pitch by Fuller is inside and it hits Colette. Looks like it hit her perhaps on the obliques or near the rib area as Yardley Colette limps down tenuously to first base. And the Ravens have their leadoff runner on for their second inning today. 
Now it's Megan Ream who popped out to the second baseman, Jamie Lydic, her first time. But Amy Noel, the new second baseman here in the third inning for the Thunder. It's 4 nothing Ravens. Not had materialized the way the Thunder thought that it would with Andy Gaskell already out of this game and Bree Fuller at the circle. They replaced the runner at first base with a pinch runner. Hopefully it's just due to that issue and not the fact that she's injured after being hit by the pitch. And it's Sorsha Cox, the sophomore from Hagerstown, graduated from high school there. Sorsha, 214 hitter on the year, former team MVP in high school, now running at first base. 4 nothing Ravens in the top half of the third inning with Bree Fuller taking over for Andy Gasco. Sights the side, brings the pitch. It's on the outside edge, called strike. Rachel Harris charging in from third, anticipating the bunt along with Lauren Harris at first base. Middle infield back, a double play depth. Brings the 0-1 pitch. It's a bullet right down the heart of the plate for a called strike. Anderson four and the Thunder nothing here in the top half of the third inning. Runner at third, nobody out, or at first rather. Pitches outside for a ball as below bluffs the throw to first. Megan Ream from Belima, Ohio, and graduated from Shawnee High School. First team all conference player this year and an honorable mention all conference player last year. It was also all-conference her first two years. Swing and a miss as Fuller strikes around on a nasty off-speed pitch in the outside corner. First strikeout of the day for Anderson after Gasco didn't strike any beyond in her stint on the mound. And now it's Lee Sess who bounced out to the first baseman. Harris her first time. She's 0 for 1. 4 nothing. Ravens third inning with a runner at first base. First pitch, swing and a miss. Fuller has never started an NCAA tournament game. This is her second relief appearance after going five innings of six-hit ball. Walked one, struck out two, and did not allow a run last year against Ohio Northern. Pops up a bunt attempt. It's caught by Sarah Below behind home plate for the out. S pops it straight into the air, and the foul grounds is caught by Below, and the runner remains at first base. There's two away for the catcher, Natalie Morehouse. 4 nothing Ravens, top half of the third inning of game number one. Sights his side, brings the pitch, buzzes are up high, a ball. Morehouse, the conference player of the year last year, where she had 10 home runs, 46 RBIs, has 22 career home runs. Sights his side, the 1-0 pitch, swing, and she sprays it foul behind home plate. He carries out a play, and the count evens up at 1-1. Anderson four to Thunder nothing, third inning, runner first base, two out. Bree Fuller replacing Andy Gasco in the circle here in the third inning. Steps off, steps back on, pumps.